So I'm actually filming this video for the second time and that is because I wanted to film this video yesterday but I tried filming it with low battery and of course my camera shut off so I had to charge it and I had to film this video again. Oh, I thought uh, I thought an insect just flew in. Mm. I hate bugs. I really really hate bugs. But I'm in the attic right now so I have to keep my window open. And it's blooming hot outside and because it's so hot outside it is incredibly hot in the attic. I just spent some time in the sun right before filming and I did get a little tan but it's still also red and it itches so maybe I'm just a little bit too sunburned. Yeah I think I'm sunburned. <laughs> with th Let's start out with something that I found on the internet. I heard a lot of people talking about the Moleskine hardcover folio journal, so I bought it for my school notes. Yes, I've seen so many great pictures of people studying and using their Moleskine and I just really want to make an effort this year. So I bought this one. It's just really really thick paper. Well, it is thick paper but it's also very thin. It won't bleed through with the fine leathers that I own, so that is very very good. And it also has a little folder in the back. So I will, I will be putting some of my loose papers in here. The next three items are from Etsy. So I'll start with my planner. This planner comes from the... Oh hello! No that's not right. This planner comes from the big calendar on Etsy. I'll link everything down below. But I bought it because the front looked really really cute and... I didn't think it would, would look so real and I thought the colors were really really bright but when I opened it it were completely different colors and that's all because of this cover but still the inside is pretty amazing I hear sirens Shh. no not gone I think they're coming closer Okay, now it's gone. So you have a lot of space to write in this planner and that is really what I was looking for. And I didn't want a ruled notebook because normally the lines would be too close together so you wouldn't have any space to write. I bought this notebook. Journal, grid journal, bullet journal. I call it my bullet journal. And it's a quote that I actually, uh, it's a journal that I actually uh, custom ordered because I wanted my own quote on here. We're good till you no longer have to introduce yourself. This is a quote that really inspires me every day. And I just started my bullet journal in here. I also made a little uh, legend. Like reschedule on it, done, not done, and to be done. And also a little... And also a little... I don't even know what to call it. Um, it also has a little icon to film a video and when I'm on holiday. So I actually only started on one page. I was, I actually started on Sunday, which is yesterday, and I actually wrote down the second H, like the first, no, the f like the fourth, and of August, and that was really really stupid. But I only saw it after I wrote it down. So yeah, second H. Last item from Etsy is this cute little envelope. Of course, it's not everything. It's it's all about what's in this envelope. This envelope is full of stickers. Like donuts and coffee. Like coffee mugs, books and makeup brushes. And oh my god, there's so much in this. But I actually only bought the... The little camera stickers. I bought the cute coffee cups. It's also stickers. And I bought this little notes dashboard. I didn't think it would be a dashboard. I thought it would just be a little sticky note. But this is also very cute and I really want to use it in my planner. So, but with these three things, I also got you a huge amount of stickers as freebies. So, I can't wait to use them on in my planner. Then I have four more. I'll be using this for another DIY video. DIY is also part of my back to school series so stay tuned for that. And then 
as the little notebook journal hoarder that I am. I actually bought two other journals. I already had page flags from, yes, I already had page flags from last year. I didn't really use them that much, but I am planning on using them this year. And I will be using them in my journal, I will be using them in my moleskin, I will be using them in my planner as well. And the fun thing, uh, it actually has a little flap. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this way I can actually stick it down in my planner. I also bought these very cute clips. One that just, just has a bird on it, you are here, a mail, uh, an envelope with a heart. And this one has a little anchor, this one just has a banner and the last one has two little houses. I think these are really really cute and I can't wait to use them. As for new pens and highlighters and pencils, I actually bought two highlighters. Just one is very very bright yellow and the other one is kind of orange, kind of pink. And I actually tried them in the store. I got them from Hema. I don't know if a lot of you guys know what this actually is, but these are really really fine to use. This also is a very huge part of my stationery for the upcoming school year. These are fine lighters. These are really really cheap ones. But I use them in my planner. I use them in my YouTube notebook. And I will be using them in my monoskin journal as well. Start off with these four mechanical pencils. I normally don't like pink. But I really have been getting more pink stuff lately. Like a pink candle. Pink pencils. Pink binder clips, um, a pink mattress. But besides that, this is all that's left in my pencil pouch. Um, two blue bobbin pens. These are really, really nice to use. These are fine liners. Gel liners, more like fine liners, but they're really, really fine to write with. Um, both, all three of them are a 0.38. I don't know if inches or it's in centimeters or whatever, but, but they're really, really thin and it writes really, really well. I use them with, well, I use them when I'm trying calli calligraphy. Calli calli I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, yeah, I use them for calligraphy. I use them for writing down my ideas in my YouTube idea notebook. I use them for my bullet journal and I will be using them in my mother's skin journal. I will still take all of my school supplies to school with me in this huge bag. I showed this bag in my very first YouTube video which was a back to school video also which almost is a year ago. That is very crazy right? When I, just, when I filmed that video I didn't think I would upload a video like every week. So if you like this video please give this video a big thumbs up you should subscribe as well for more videos about back to school. Bye guys!